Hi guys, Chandler with Trident Fly Fishing and welcome to another episode of our beginner series. Now today we're gonna to talk a little bit about wading boots, how to choose wading boots, what the sizing is like. You know, a lot of anglers in our sport fish cold water fisheries for trout, for salmon, for steelhead, etc. And waders are a real important part of spending all day on the water. They keep you warm, they keep you dry. And wading boots go on the end of your stocking foot waders to be the barrier between your feet and the ground. So wading boots serve a bunch of different purposes. You know, you can hike in them, you can wade in them, you know, theoretically they should give you grip in the water. And of course, like everything in fly fishing, there are so many styles of wading boots. So this video is designed to help you choose which boots fit your fishing style best and which boots, you know, will work well for you on the water. So I've got three pairs of wading boots here with me. You know, these are boots from uh, some of the most well-known manufacturers in the sport. So we got a Sims wading boot here, we have a Corker's wading boot, and we have a Reddington wading boot. More than a plug for these boots, these are different styles of boots, different designs of boots, and these boots are really just made to show you some of the features that come on different boots and which features provide the most user-friendly experience for the angler. Now, to start, this is the Sims Flyweight boot. You know, this is one of, if not the lightest boot in the fly fishing industry. And so this is a boot designed for the angler who does a lot of hiking, who spends a lot of time walking on the river. Uh, it doesn't have a high heel, so it doesn't have as good support as uh, other boots with a high heel, so if ankle support is your biggest priority, this may not be the best boot for you. But it's designed with a really light frame, it drains water really well, so it's light on your foot all day long, and it comes with the Sims Vibram sole that is really good at gripping rocks. You know, this Vibram sole is not as good as felt or studded soles at gripping rocks, but it's a lot better for walking, and of course, Sims boots come designed with places that you can put cleats into your boot. Now, cleats basically give you a little extra grip on the water, although some people are maybe not looking for boots with cleats because they do mark up boats, they do mark up planes. And so if you're waiting in places like Alaska or um, you're fishing on a drift boat in the Western US, you know, cleats are maybe not the best option. So down the line here, we have a corkers boot here. And Corker's boots are known for being some of the most user-friendly and versatile boots in the industry. Um, you can see here that they have this easy Titan BOA system. So that's a really nice user-friendly element to these boots. You can put them on and off, tighten them really easily. They have the high ankle support, which is great. For anglers who need that ankle support, corkers are really, really nice. And they also come with interchangeable soles. You know, corkers' biggest marketing point for a while has been their interchangeable soles. So if you go from wading in algae covered rocks with this felt sole to navigating, you know, slippery rocks, you can switch over really easily to a rubber sole or even to a studded sole. So if you're looking for versatility and user friendliness and you're not going to do a ton of hiking, these Corkers boots are great. And as we go down the line here even more, uh, Reddington also makes a really nice wading boot. These Reddington boots are great for beginner anglers. You know, they don't have as many features as these other boots do, but you know, they're a really versatile, really solid, well-made boot and they're gonna be a little bit cheaper. So if you prioritize price, you're probably gonna to wanna to go with these Reddington boots. Now to talk a little bit about sizing, you know, typically we recommend upsizing by one size from your normal shoe size. And the reason for that is because you're gonna be putting on your stocking foot waders and that stocking foot's gonna take up room in your boot. So if you wear a size 10 in your regular shoes, you're gonna then put a thick pair of socks on if you wanna stay warm on the water and then your stocking foot's over those socks. So you wanna upsize to fit your foot into a wading boot comfortably. Now, if you prefer a really small boot, you're gonna to wanna to go the same size as your shoe. Obviously, if you prefer something a little bigger, you can upsize one 
basically what we recommend is trying these boots on, looking at the manufacturer size charts, and you'll be able to get a feel for the boots and decide what works best for you. You know, wading boots are a really important part of fly fishing and they keep you safe and help you wade safely on the water all day long. If you have any questions about which wading boots will fit your style of angling the best, feel free to give us a call anytime at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. Hopefully you found this episode of the Beginner Series helpful and instructive, and be sure to hit the bell notification and subscribe to our channel so you're notified of all future videos. I'm Chandler, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.